Uh, a quick 58 keys for you this time. A uh, quick because it's not going to take long to cover. And also because this is a bit niche. I mean, I know we can get writers. We can get the look when you need this, it is great. You just you're not going to need it a lot. And what it is, is this a keynote presentation behind me. I am controlling it using my Apple Watch. Yeah, wait a minute. Is it working? What? Hello, I'm William Gallagher and this is 58 Keys, which is for you and me. It's writers like you and me who write on Macs and iPhones and iPads. Do subscribe because there's so much to talk about with writing on these tools. This time, I want to show you something slightly different, more to do with the business of writing and things you can do as a writer. I want to show you how to make a presentation and how to move between slides tapping on your Apple Watch. And I want to show you, because it's what I do and it's useful, and also because the last time it was remarked upon, specifically this way. I ran a couple of workshops and afterwards uh, one woman I was kind of walking out with uh, at the end said she was terribly impressed with how I was changing slides using my Apple Watch given my age. Well, to do this uh, you need um, a Keynote on a Mac or iPad. Keynote is Apple's free equivalent. Why is it free? Equivalent of PowerPoint. Why is it a PowerPoint? PowerPoint is the equivalent of Keynote. Let's do it that way. You also need an Apple Watch. Unexpectedly, I think you have to have an iPhone as well. I, don't, I, I wouldn't recommend you went out and buy all of this gear just to move one slide on a presentation. But if you already have the gear and you're doing presentations, then this is amazing. Because for me, what it means is I'm not tied to the table where my iPad is. I can walk about, I can stride about, I can breathe in the presentation and talk with you and work with you. Once it's set up and running, I can do that anyway. First, uh, open the keynote presentation that you're going to be running. This doesn't work with PowerPoint, I might you what does. Um, open the presentation on your Mac or your iPad. You need to set it up in both. So go to Preferences on the Mac and then click on Remotes. Now click on Enable and when that's clicked, go to your iPhone, open that up, open Keynote, press this remote control button in the corner. Now when it's found the phone, link, confirm and you're done. A similar thing on the iPad but easier. Tap the three dot ellipses, choose allow remotes and you're done. Then when that's playing open Keynote on your iPhone. If you don't already have Keynote installed on your iPhone well it's right there in the App Store it's free it's waiting for you so just go grab that. Then open Keynote on the iPhone tap on this icon and what should happen almost always does is that the iPhone will then see the Mac or the iPad and it will turn into a remote control for it. If it doesn't work, check you're on the same Wi-Fi network and kind of cycle through all this. Close the apps, close the presentation, start the apps, start the presentation, and it will cop onto itself. When you've got the iPhone showing you the Keynote remote control button, then open Keynote on your Apple Watch. Uh, again, you have got this app. As long as you have Keynote on your iPhone, then you've got it for the Apple Watch, but it may not be installed. Uh, if it isn't, open are you following this? Open the Apple Watch app on iPhone, then scroll way, way, way down, three times way down to where Keynote is listed under Available Apps. Tap Install, wait a bit, and then open your Apple Watch and it will be there. Tap on the icon on there and from there, that's it. You can tap once and move straight on to the next slide and that is all I ever do. You can do more. You can long press on that thing and go back and stuff, but Speaking of options that you might want, there's one I think is far more useful. Uh, it kind of depends on, you have to set up your watch in a certain way to get maximum benefit from this, because there's a problem, isn't there? You tap the button on your watch, you move a slide, but then you're talking about the slide, and while you're talking, the watch screen goes off. I think even if you have an always on Apple Watch, and I don't, even if you have always on, then I think it might revert to showing you the time instead of staying in Keynote. So on the watch this time, go to settings, then general, then wake screen, scroll down through the list of apps that are there, tap keynote, now scroll down until it says return to clock, there's a heading called return to clock, tap custom, and then tap after one hour. That's it. I know that's a long, yeah, 
I'll put the list in the description. Okay. Once you've done that, though, what it means is as long as you turn back to the watch within the next hour, it'll open up and show you the button to press. You could then change it back later if you were fussed, but there's no need. When you're done with the presentation, come out of the Keynote app on your watch and you're done. It's back to normal showing you the time every time you lift your wrist, which is normally what you want. I did say the problem was keeping your watch awake, but there is, there is actually an issue of keeping your audience awake too. Because lately I found it's necessary to actually tell them, tell them you are controlling. I mean, I know they can see it, but it doesn't look great unless they know. It looks a bit like I'm clock watching and things. And like I'm counting the minutes till I get out of this place. It could be worse. It has been worse. It was worse. I used to use my iPhone to control it. And that meant I was like, it looked like I was texting. Oh, yeah, that's a really interesting company. Oh, one minute, you know. Yeah. Uh, oh, sorry. One last thought. Um, I do recommend this. I do enjoy that we can do this. But if you're going to do it, make sure your devices, all of them, watch, iPad, iPhone, Mac are fully charged. OK, I'm just going to leave that there. Not going to comment any further. No, I didn't. You're wrong. That's it for this edition of 58 Keys. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you to the UK's Arts Council who have been helping me out so much in these months for developing 58 Keys episodes and developing our nattering. Take care of yourself, though. Eh? Write more. I'm telling myself as much as you. And I'll see you soon.